welcome future elementary educators. In this screencast, we take a look at linear measure. Linear measure is one-dimensional measurement. One-dimensional. Uh, it's the sort of thing that we use to measure perimeter, which is toward the end of our screencast together, exactly what we're going to do. Linear measurement is done with a ruler. Uh, this particular ruler has two sides to it. Uh, this side is the customary or the English side. Uh, this measures in inches, right? That's what's on this side of the, the ruler. One, two, three, four, five, six inches. And that makes sense. My, my screen's probably about nine or ten inches across, so six inches is probably fair there. On the other side, this is the metric side. Uh, the metric side measures things in centimeters. Uh, this is about 15 centimeters, and that, again, that makes sense given the, the distance here. You'll notice that about two and a half centimeters is about one inch. That's that's pretty standard. About two and a half centimeters is about one. It's a little bit less because five centimeters is just a hair under two inches, but that's the rough idea. About two and a half centimeters is about an inch. Uh, there are some other things you should know. The metric system runs on powers of 10. So 10 centimeters, uh, 10 centimeters is one decimeter and 100 centimeters is one meter and so on. Powers of 10 are useful like that. Uh, the other big thing that we know in the metric system is that a thousand meters is a kilometer. By contrast, the English system has very easy to remember, th oh, 12 feet, right? Very easy to remember. It's so easy to remember that I got it wrong. Uh, 12 inches is a foot and three feet is a yard and 1,760 yards is a mile. And so we can, we can do those conversions if we so choose. So these are linear measures. They measure quantities in a straight line. So why? Well, because you have some figure like uh, this one, and you realize that, I don't know, maybe this is 10 centimeters, and maybe this is 8 centimeters, and maybe this is 10 centimeters, and maybe this is 12 centimeters, and you want to find the perimeter of the trapezoid. Well, what is perimeter? Perimeter is the distance around the object, right? It's a meter distance, peri, around. It's the distance around the trapezoid. We add all the linear measures. 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 10 is 40 centimeters. What does that mean? That means if I had a rope that was 40 centimeters long and I started it here and I ran it along the four sides, it would end right where it started. That's what that means. Um, I will say a few things about distance. I'll say what your authors say about distance. There are three distance properties that matter. So uh, let's put three points in the plane. Let's call them A and B and C just for sport. Um, we know that the distance from A to B, remember if we don't put the line on top, that's a number. The distance from A to B, this number has to be non-negative. Non it is greater than or equal to zero. This distance is not negative, it is some positive number or perhaps zero, and it's only zero if A and B are the same point. It is also true that the distance from A to B 
has to equal the distance from B to A. Uh, this is intuitively obvious, but the distance from A to B has to equal the distance from B to A. It can't be that where I choose to start my measurement changes what the measurement is. And then third, the distance from A to B plus the distance from B to C has to be at least as big as the distance from A to C. A to B plus B to C has to be at least as big as the distance from A to C. When would they be the same? They would be the same under this scenario. If B were between A and C, on the same line between A and C, then we would have equality. But if B is off that line, then it's strictly greater than. Uh, this thing is what we call the triangle inequality. And I'll just let you stare at this so that you know why it's called the triangle inequality. And for the same reason that as we talked about in class, you can't have a triangle where the sides are 20, 21, and 20, 21, because 20 plus 21 is not greater than or equal to 20, 21, then this also has to hold, add two sides, it has to be bigger than or equal to the third, equal only in this scenario, then it's not much of a triangle. So hopefully this is some help as you were working through the text. Uh, next up, circles.